let's make a classic but a goodie um i needed a different side veg i am sick of just sauteing some greens or roasting some cauliflower so i thought about ratatouille actually the reason i thought about it was my kids watched the movie and when i was sitting there i was like ratatouille that's a great side veg what, what's wrong with you lauren and you get all of the veggies in it so it is a classic it's usually um small diced slow roasted we're gonna do it a little bit more modernized the way you might see it on the internet when you look it up but we're gonna use a beautiful cast iron pan and we're going to cut them in circles make it really pretty and colorful and then finish this in the oven it takes around 45 minutes this is not like a quick side dish this is something that all the flavors mend together it's built in layers it's very enjoyable I'm doing it in our cast iron. This is a one pan everything. So coating the bottom with a little bit of oil. Um, I'm actually using avocado oil on the bottom just because like I told you before, the smoke point is a lot higher than like an olive oil or a good finishing oil. Um, so this should get nice and hot. And in here is our peppers, our garlic, and our onions. They're all small diced. And we're gonna get them in here and we're gonna get them sauteing and low and slow so that they cook down so we can make our pan sauce in here. Um, while we do this, we're gonna cut our veggies. Let's go cut our veggies. First thing we wanna do is we definitely wanna small dice our onions. Our onions and our peppers are gonna cook down. Let me just move They're gonna cook down and all the sweetness from the onions and the peppers are gonna be released. So with the can of crushed or diced tomatoes, I think I only have diced tomatoes, so um, and the garlic, I'm gonna thin, thin, thin slice it um, with all of that sweetness and then the tomatoes added. It's gonna create a beautiful pan sauce that we're gonna rest our veggies in and then cook them in the oven. So you wanna get all the prep done. And this is gonna take a little bit to saute out. Uh, you wanna go low and slow. You're not looking to get a lot of color on the veggies. You're just looking to release all the sugars that are in there. Um, and then with the peppers, I'm going, I just filleted them and cleaned the, you know, the meat, the flesh out. And I'm just gonna do a small dice on this as well. Let's cut all the peppers. To make it look really pretty in that circle, we're gonna cut all the veggies into circles. So zucchini, I just trim up the top and the bottoms. So you don't have to go crazy with them. Um, if you had stock that you're making at home or broth, or let's say like this was Sunday and you saved your veggie scraps, you can also compost them however you want to do it. But I usually save the little scraps for stock, uh, except for eggplant. That's way, way too bitter. Um, so we're going to do around a quarter of an inch because these do cook down around a quarter of an inch on each of the veggies. And then on my sheet pan, just to make it easier for assembling purposes, Keep all your zucchini together, keep all your squash together, keep all your eggplant together and tomatoes, because then we'll just boop, 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 put it together. But just so you could say, we're at a quarter of an inch on that. Our peppers, onions, garlic have cooked down. As you can see, it's like super, it's half the size, pretty much of what I put in originally. So I'm giving it a start. And I didn't have crushed tomatoes. I only had diced tomatoes. Easy fix, throw in your blender. So right now you wanna take that tomato and pour it right into the pan with the peppers and the onion. And you wanna season in um, layers because it builds flavor. So right now we're gonna lower this down. There we go, to a simmer. And we're just gonna add some thyme. I've shown you before, pinch the top and the leaves come right off. So I'm using around I'm gonna use three sprigs. And then I'm gonna season this alone right here with um, salt and some pepper. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit more, give it a stir, and this is gonna cook 25 minutes so the acid ends up cooking completely out of here. So this has been going for around 25 minutes and I just tasted it. It does need a little bit more salt. Tomatoes need salt, so please, when you do cook with tomatoes, taste your food because you'll be surprised on how much salt tomatoes actually take. 
and just add a little more pepper. So now we're gonna give this a stir. It's really, I mean, it smells outrageous in here and this cooked down. Now we're gonna go back over to my cutting board, uh, take this off the heat. We're gonna layer the veggies on, sauce it, and you'll understand what I mean by sauce it, and then get it in the oven. So. Okay, so we have our base sauce in the pan. All of our veggies, look how colorful, all cut up. So now what we wanna do is start from the outside of the pan and you want to put them around layering the colors. So we're going eggplant, squash, zucchini, tomato. Eggplant, squash, Ooh, see, I even did it wrong. Squash, zucchini, tomato. So we're gonna go all the way around and then the inside and then I'll show you the little sauce, gremolata, a little like herb vinaigrette that we're gonna pour on top before we throw it in the oven. So our ratatouille is assembled in our pan. This is hot, nope. So you can see it's so colorful, isn't it? So now we're gonna make like a little sauce to go on top. So I'm putting in rosemary, which I'm going to just pinch the top and pull. I'm giving it all a real good chop. The only thing I really don't have to really chop well is um, the thyme. So I have a little bit more time to go, but put it all together. And some fresh parsley. So we're going to finely chop all of these herbs, which I just so you could say, all of these herbs. And then in the bowl, I have olive oil. I'm gonna season it with salt, pepper, a couple red chili flakes, and then we're gonna pour it on top. Um, so I pretty much used two sprigs of fresh rosemary. They were cut in half, that's why it looks like there's four but it was only two, and two really large sprigs of um, thyme. So, we're going to drop the stem in there, get this to a good chop. I wanna show you from this angle before it goes in the oven, we poured our olive oil with fresh herbs. On the top, our veggies are all ready. Remember our sauce is the base. It's in my cast iron. I put it on a sheet pan just because I like to work cleaner and safer just in case something happens. This is going in the oven for 45 minutes at 350 uncovered. We'll see you when it's done. Just took it out of the oven. Our ratatouille has been in there for 45 minutes. We're gonna let it rest. It smells so good. And how pretty is this for a side dish? You can definitely do this ahead of time. Bring it to a party, just, you know, in the pan and just finish it up warm. You can almost serve this room temp as well. Just FYI, gonna top with some fresh basil and be ready to serve. I almost don't want to touch it before dinner because it's so pretty. Um, but I figured out a place I could sneak a little bite. So I am taking right for the middle because I can make it look like I didn't touch it. That's nice. It's delicate. And all the vegetables, like that was a squash. A zucchini, not a squash. Really held their integrity. Like, has a really nice crunch. Okay, let's fix it so it doesn't look like I tried it. I want like bread to sop it all up. So good. If you try it, tag us please. We would love to see it. Great side dish. Bring it to a party. Ratatouille. Gorgeous. Follow us on TikTok and follow us on YouTube for more recipes. Enjoy.